So this will be the last Matt Chandler video that I do, and this is not an attack. This doesn't even have anything to do with the current scandal. This video is about the man that once inspired me to be courageously bold in my walk of faith. A little over 10 years ago, some of you will remember that Matt Chandler suffered from a brain tumor. Uh, I remember being a new convert at the time and basically being absolutely inspired by the way he courageously attacked his fear of death through his obedience to God and his promises. I remember saying to myself after watching his sermon, in which he addressed his cancer situation to the village church and saying to myself, man, this guy is fearless. The only thing he fears is God. Um, and all these, you know, all these years that has stuck with me. And I've, I've always thought about that. I'm going to go ahead and play a clip of, um, of a very inspiring thing that he said in regards to his cancer. But I want to make it clear that I love Matt Chandler. And over the past couple of days, I've had to, I've been dealing with my own thoughts um, in ways in which I may have handled the news regarding his scandal, reminding myself to stay low, to stay humble, and most importantly, to love. Because without love, what are we? So I'd like to petition for myself and all of my subscribers that we pray for Matt Chandler, that we pray that the Lord reminds him of what he used to be, a man who was after God's own heart, a man that was bold and fearless for the sake of Christ and not social justice. I think the thing that caused the most tears mm -hmm. in our home uh, from the seizure on was the tangible love of God made evidence in the saints. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got, that we had a picture sent to us from Ye Sudan of five pastors in Sudan on their knees on a dirt floor with their hands raised asking God to heal me. Mm -hmm. we, we got house church pastors in Burma that yeah. sent us letters, a group of orphans in Mexico holding up a, a mm -hmm. sign that says, we love you, Pastor Chandler. And so, <laughs> man, I'd get those things. I didn't, I didn't have anywhere to even spiritually file that. So we would just weep and, and thank God that he was loving mm. us through those. And, and then the lines that were crossed. And you know, I mean, the, the kingdom, God help us, um, Holy Spirit help us. We're just so, we've been trained to see through the lenses of what's wrong with it. So we look at other pastors, other ministries, other through the lenses of what's wrong with it first. And so to, to have this camp that doesn't work well with this camp, that doesn't like this camp, that hates this camp, all to be going, we love you and we're praying for you. And then to be able to go, okay, maybe I can be a bridge here in some of this. I mean, it's beautiful. You don't know the outcome of your journey because you no. still, according to doctors, there's a malignancy there. Sure. They, they went to the border. They couldn't go with, beyond those perimeters without taking out sure. bodily functions or your mm -hmm. life. So we know God heals. Absolutely. And we know we all want you healed. Yes, sir. How do you line all that up? I, I've, I think the thing that I continue, I've, cont I've said to Lauren on multiple occasions, I've, 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 and I know it's, it, it's so much more than a child story. I, I hate that we've made those great Old Testament narratives, children's stories, but the Adrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they say <laughs> he can, he will, and even if he doesn't, and, and so that's, that's where I'm standing. He can heal me. I believe he will heal me. I believe I'm going to be an old, surly Baptist preacher. Um, and, and even if he doesn't. Who loves everybody outside the Baptist fortress. That's right. That's, that's right. That's right. That is but, absolutely yeah, amazing. Absolutely. Um, but even if he doesn't, and, and that's the thing. I, I mean, I read Philippians 1. I know what Paul says. If I'm here, then let's work. Mm -hmm. But if I go home, that's better. And, and so, I, I mean, I understand that.